Hallelujah. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. It's a new day of grace and favor of God. Keep my wife and family in prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, beloved. Hallelujah. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ my Savior. Standing, standing, I am standing on the promises of God. Hallelujah. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ my Savior. Standing, hallelujah, standing, standing on the promises of God. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, glory to your name. Hallelujah. Oh, Father God testimonies of the testimonies is our life when we look back at our past and see how far you brought us and lord god we're standing on the promises of the future as by the power of your holy spirit you transform and translate us from darkness to light and from unholiness to holiness by which we shall see your face eternally forevermore in the name of jesus christ by the power of your holy spirit we pray Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Bless you. Bless you this morning. It's a great day. Your life is blessed. I pray strength. I pray health. I pray wealth and prosperity over your life. I pray that you go forth with the gospel of Jesus Christ and you open your mouth only to say that which the Lord gives you to say in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and nothing more. Hallelujah. So you honor the Lord God by governing what comes out of your mouth because your ears is listening. And is always hungry to feed your spirit. Amen. To govern yourself today, beloved, by what you say out of your mouth. Amen. Let's get into God's word. We are, we are entering into God's word this morning. We are continuing our journey through the book of Acts, at the beginning of the church age, and the, the beginning of the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and the filling of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts, as we see here in chapter 2, where we end Peter. Uh, the evangelist, the preacher, and the apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, ministering the word of salvation from Genesis to from the Old Testament to the New Testament, the, to the gospel of salvation, hallelujah. So this morning we continue a journey. As we see yesterday, many were baptized after finished ministering to them. So they can be filled with the Holy Spirit today. We continue as we see him speak of, on the promises of God for all of us who will accept him through his sacrifice on the cross of his son for us. Verse 39 of Acts chapter 2, verse 39 to 41. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. For the promises to you and to your children and to all who are afar of as many as the Lord our God will call. Hallelujah. And with many other words he testified and exhorted him, saying, Be safe from this perverse generation, and those who gladly receive his word will be baptized. And that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the promises to you and to your children, to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. Our oh, beloved. <laughs> In one way you could look at this as the calling of the Jews who are scattered around the world back to Jerusalem as a sign of the times we're living in. You can look at it from that perspective. No big deal. But the greater here is to look at the calling of God upon our life to be saved from this perverse and wicked generation whom is on their way to hell because of they choose to live for themselves and for the world than to live for God. Hallelujah. So the promise that God has made to us, the promise of salvation, the promise of the impartation of the Holy Spirit, the promise of eternal life here, God has now given this us and God is calling many of us, hallelujah, but we know we live in a world that is busy being burdened under Satan's yoke. Busy. B-U-S-Y. So, beloved, this morning, beloved, no matter what it is, don't let sickness or death slow you down. Don't let sickness, when you end up in an hospital or on your sick bed, all of a sudden you realize you have all the time in the world. When God keep on knocking at your door, stop, stop, slow down, slow down. 
give me some time. Give me some time. The life you have belongs to me. The breath you're breathing belongs to me. Your health and strength belongs to me. Slow down. Slow down. Stop. Give. I, I I love you. I I I I I I, I want to show you good things. The path, the way you're going, you you're gonna die before your time, beloved. God is calling out to many of us this morning in that way we have been so busy that we don't have time for a husband, don't have time for wives, we don't have time for children, you know, because with this, this, this thing that is drawing us, that is drawing us, and that thing that is drawing us, it wouldn't be bad if it was drawing us closer to God. It's really drawing us away from God. We know that God is and, and that he loved us, and, you, know, you know, but we don't have time to spend intimately in a quiet place with them and that's what god wants Re relationship is built on time a man and a wife is able to spend with each other to bond and to become one so god the holy spirit wants to bond with us and to have a relationship with us so that he can transform and translate us just as he did to his son the resurrected one hallelujah so the promise here is the promise of the fulfilling of the Holy Spirit upon our lives through eternal life that God has promised to give us. And this eternal life can only occur by us being translated, transformed, and changed more and more each day to have the mind of Christ and more and more as the, as the work on us on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Transforming us to become His vessels and His instrument of power upon this earth. Hallelujah. Fulfilling uh, the, and, and carrying out and being able to use the tools given to us. Hallelujah. Every single one of us has been given tools, spiritual tools, beloved, spiritual tools. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And these spiritual tools that we have been given to use, which is the power we have been given, is in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4. To 11 so you need to go there to know what your tool is and what the power is that you've been given and you can ask of the Lord the Holy Spirit so he can equip you so you can be useful to the church it has nothing to do with position it has nothing to do with pulpit because when these brethren goes out to preach there was no such thing as church pulpit and all this kind of stuff it's simply that they were anointed and filled with the Holy Spirit and understand the work that they need to go out and declare and preach the gospel so if you sit there waiting for your position to get up in the pulpit or if you sit there in that pew and know you confess them and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you need to understand it is your position in God that is important, not your position in the church. Hallelujah. Let me repeat that one more time. It is your position in God that is important, not your position in the church. Hallelujah. So if you understand your position in God, that you have been anointed and called a child, a child of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit upon your life, because you confess and believe Lord Jesus Christ that He is Lord and God to the glory of the Father. Now you understand that you spend time in relationship in His Holy Word, spending time in the Holy Word, so you can have an intimate relationship with Him, and by so doing, He empowers and equips you with power from an eye, because now you become a child of the kingdom of heaven and not a child of the earth anymore. You've been translated. Hallelujah. So you understand that no matter where you are in this world, we're in the you know good hood, the ghetto, or in a castle, either it again, your position in this world is not what's important. It is your position in God. And that is once you become you come to the Lord and the Lord is is your, is your part of your life, you understand that you have a powerful work to do in this universe, and that is to decree and declare and to proclaim the gospel over hills and mountains in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because the gospel message going out is the word of life and health and strength and prosperity that returns back into your ears and blesses your soul and make your soul rejoice. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So now you understand also what life is about, and it is to declare the gospel of Jesus Christ so you can walk in health and strength in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So the promise here is the promise of the fulfilling of the Holy Spirit in, in dwelling us and also that we will live a life of eter have eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so this is one of the promises and the many promises that have been made here to us as God called us and as we able to hear him, we must heed his call, beloved. We must heed his call because the yoke of business has been thrown upon a lot of people to distract 
and to keep them away from hearing God's voice. Hallelujah. Um, I'm pretty sure on that day when when, when uh, the prophet Elijah sent for his disciples to go and look for some sign of the Lord and to see if he hear his voice, I'm pretty sure uh, each time he sent him out, they become quieter and quieter, so much so that it's almost like the wind wasn't blowing and nothing was moving. So in that stillness of the moment, the quietness of the moment, when all is settled down and calm, he hears a still, small voice. So beloved, shut down all the noise in your head and the noise around you. Hallelujah. And find a still quiet place so you can hear the voice of the Lord because he is speaking in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 40 says he had with many other words he testified and exhorted him saying be safe from this perverse generation. So as Peter was ministering to these brethren and sisters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and they're giving their life to the Lord Jesus Christ and the fulfillment of the Holy Spirit upon their life and translate, translate them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ here. He continued to exhort them. This is what we are saved to do. We are saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, not only to preach and to minister the gospel, but to testify of what the Lord has done and is doing through our lives and also to exhort the church, build up one another, encourage one another in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 41, verse 41, Then those who gladly received his word were baptized in that and that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. Hallelujah. Beloved, when you minister and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ with solidity and with the power of the Holy Spirit and with intention, hallelujah, that's all you live for, to decree and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. God will do phenomenal things in your life. Hallelujah. God will do phenomenal things in your life. 3,000 souls were saved. Save three thousand, three thousand, three million. Hallelujah. May God bless you this morning, beloved, as you go forth and give your life to Lord Jesus Christ, and as you go forth in his power and his prayer, may the Lord God bless you as you imitate Lord Jesus Christ, as Peter here has imitated the Lord going and going forth, healing the sick, raising the dead, and also ministering the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of salvation to the people. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be given unto you. Brothers and sisters, pray for me. Hallelujah. Pray for this ministry, Speak Life International. Ministry Slim is called here in Georgia as we build and as we grow. Hallelujah. And see souls saved and give their life to Christ and be filled with the Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit, God Almighty, can transform them. The Heavenly Father can transform them. Hallelujah. From mortality to immortality from corruption to the incorruptible. Hallelujah. May Lord God quicken you this morning, strengthen you and exalt you and overwhelm you with the spirit of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And may you go forth in power, in the power of the Holy Spirit, walking in the spirit. And may you open your spiritual eyes so you can see in the spirit, beloved, and be able to cast out demons, heal the sick and raise the dead. Hallelujah. And preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ as Peter here did. May God bless you. As you understand this day, it is not your it is not your position, a power in this world. It is your position in God and the power that He has given you, because as that man with the talent that take his talent and eat it, beloved, your talent should never be in that God has given you, and you have a choice of nine talents that God has given you in First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse four to eleven. You have a choice of nine talents. So, beloved, one you should be able to be using right now to God's glory. Because once you have any one of these gifts or any one of these talents, beloved, you can never go hungry in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you this morning as we journey to the book of Acts. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is going to come and judge us by our acts, by what we do. Hallelujah. You will be judged by your actions. Hallelujah. So today, beloved, make sure your action is that you tell somebody about the Lord Jesus Christ. In spirit and in truth, hallelujah, being grateful for what he had done through his son, that physical body, hallelujah, and also translated it that never been done through the universe, that God has taken a man that is dead and quickened that body so that that body become immortal, eternal, so that every fiber and cell of that immortal one, Jesus Christ, he has taken Jesus, made him Jesus Christ.
God himself, his image and his likeness. Hallelujah. God won't do this even so for us and even greater. Hallelujah. It's a great day. Bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can send your donations at Beloved Alphas if you want to ask to Zell 443-205-8283. Uh, Zell 443-205-8283. Um, the name is Clive Simpson. Clive Simpson. Hallelujah. You can send your donations and offerings as we build here in Georgia. God bless you. Have a great and wonderful day. You can always inbox me and ask me questions. And beloved, I'll pray with you and pray for your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I will get back to you no matter what it is. I'll get back to you ASAP because I know in a world like this, everyone needs someone who can speak life into them, health and strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.